Here we go. And now from Houston, Texas to New York City, we will be speaking with Victoria Steiner with Compass Real Estate in New York City. Victoria, welcome to the show. Yes, thank you, Bill. Thank you so much for having me. Well, boy, we're, we're, we're hearing about all the places in the world that are affected by this, which is pretty much everywhere. But New York City, especially, we have our eye there because you are the Big Apple, a, a very unique city and business center of the whole world. Let's tell people, first of all, Victoria, about your company, Compass Real Estate. Yes, yes, yes I work for Compass uh, Realty. We are um, one of the largest privately owned uh, companies in the United States. We have offices from coast to coast and in Texas and Aspen in Florida, Hampton, so wherever you could uh, uh, throw your dart at, we have an office there. Certainly here in Houston, too, we're hearing so much about Compass yes. Real Estate. And you've been on the show. It's been about two years, if I recall. Certainly things have yes. changed massively. But you have been a constant top producer. And in your world of real estate, as we have Houston realtors here listening all the time, your world already was different where – the things that you see, the properties that you offer, the skyscrapers, the penthouses, and you are a top luxury producer right there in New York City. First of all, tell us a little bit about the market, when it was normal, how you went about business and, and, and kind of how it worked there. Well, you know, we are very much people person. Uh, it's a very, I think private and uh, emotional transaction when you're dealing with somebody who's looking for their home and if they're moving with their family or with their loved ones, they want to be able to find something that's comfortable for them, something that's convenient, meaning that it's close to their job or close to their school. So we have to be um, extremely uh, kind and understanding to the situation and to be able to find the right fit for the right person. So you know, with, with the rules that are in effect now, it kind of uh, takes away that, that feeling um, that we have for our clients in terms of being in close proximity to them. And you actually live in New York City, is that correct? Uh, uh, yes, I saw New York City, yes. And so right now, real estate, when people need to move, when they need to buy or sell, they that, that's a, a need. They need to do it. But right now, Let's say this week, if someone calls and says, Victoria, I need to buy a home, a penthouse, whatever, how are you handling that? Well, we, we send them a virtual tour. We also have a, a great tool in our company called Compass Collection, where we put together a collection for, for you. And it's your search parameters. It's the location that you want, if you want a view, if you need a pet-friendly building, square footage, bedroom count. And we tailor fit it for you, and we send it, and you're able to see it. The, you know, thank God that uh, realtors and technology has caught up with um, with this prior to us being all quarantined, is that we're able to view and experience a property online before we actually see it. So those were, I mean, a positive thing that came before, I guess, this quarantine. That's right. So you, yeah. we, realtors I mean, all over. That's the first step. Right. Realtors all over were already poisoning and getting ready for the technology and using it. Now we have to use it even more, right? Yes. Yes. And we set up a, a, a tour, a virtual tour for the client where the client gets to experience the house and the apartment and the view and the amenities prior to even seeing it. And um, before this all happened, we actually had clients who were looking at a different location Let's say they wanted to live in Upper East Side, but then they were able to see something in Midtown online that they would send to our say, well, this is the location that we wanted, but look at this apartment. I think it's perfect for us. So people were able to, to look and understand what they needed prior to what they um, you know, told us agents the location that they wanted to be in. And what about people that want to move? Is it the Hamptons? That's a popular spot there. Are people moving out of the city with the quarantine and going to the to the? I don't know if that that's not really the country, but that's another area, right? Right, right. So, so the Hamptons is the Hamptons is really a summer location that people with summer that lived in the city. The season in the Hamptons is usually Memorial Day to Labor Day, so you get like May thirty first till September fourth, give or take a few days. That was the summer season where the homes would be rented, and Winter and spring would not be a good season to rent. The houses would go for, let's say, a house that would go for, let's say, 50000 a month. 
would go for 10000 because that was considered off-season. Well, because of the, um, the place that we are today, the homes are being rented now as opposed to Memorial Day. And then what about are you getting calls during this time from sellers that are saying, I want to list my home, or are they just waiting? Do you think they're waiting for a couple of weeks from now or a month? But are you getting any listings right now? You know, I had two listings that we wanted to go live with prior to this about two weeks ago. And we, um, so I have, I run a team of five people. So we had two listings that were under 1.5 million, which is not expensive for New York, which would get, let's say, 20 people to an open house on a Sunday that we decided that wait and see that to wait this out to see how this happened before we got quarantined so we did not put it on the market i think that there's going to be a lot of inventory that will hit the market as soon as things um quiet down and when when you mention a price point if i recall way back a few years ago when we first talked i think you were celebrating a was it a hundred million dollar deal of some kind? I don't know if you remember. Yeah, something like that. But it was yeah. something gigantic yeah. that you just closed, and I was like, yeah. "Wow!" Yeah. Only in New York, yeah. I guess, or maybe LA. Who knows? You no, know, I mean, we have, believe it or not, uh, in the beginning of the year, LA was getting these a uh, hundred million dollar deals, one hundred sixty five million. Jeff Bezos bought a, a house with land, so the numbers have been escalating in the last. Uh, year, especially this year, came out roaring because we had people who were on the sidelines that wanted to take advantage of the mortgage rate and go forward and buy property and, and but, transact. Well, well, generally speaking, give us an idea of what you, to be at the level of real estate sales and success that you have been. Real estate's not easy in any city, I don't think. But let's tell people some of the core principles that you have used in your world to to do so well in real estate you know to me about the real estate being a homeowner myself it's not only about the transaction and getting the deal done and closed it's really understanding the full uh person who am i dealing with am i dealing with is there a mom a dad a son a dog for everyone to be comfortable and happy and when you're able to understand who you're working with as a whole, not as just one, and the things that make these people happy, you end up having lifelong friends, and those people end up referring to you. So my business right now is, yes, I do get people that call off the website or people come off the Instagram pages, but the majority of things are referrals because I think that if you do well by someone and really put your heart and soul into something that you're doing and it's not about the commission, it's about really finding something special for them and making them feel happy is is where you want to be and do well, you know, year after year after year. Indeed, that is a core principle of success and you're doing it very well all the time. We're talking with Victoria Steiner with Compass Real Estate in New York City. And Victoria, one of the things you sent me as we were texting back and forth about should you buy a home if a recession hits? We don't know that the recession is going to hit, but what's your comment on that? Well, you know, I looked at uh, the four factors that would be pushing me today if I was going to buy a property or, or even an investment property or move out of my own home is number one is my job stability. Am I going to be working at the place if we are quarantined for the next, let's say, 60 to 90 days? Am I still going to have a job? That's number one, job stability. Number two is where am I pre-qualified for the mortgage that we're going to get? Because um, I will be financing some of this property. Will, the, uh, will I still have a good rate? What is going to be my monthly payment? And am I comfortable with these monthly payments? Number three, I would be looking at my savings. After you cash out, let's say the 20 or the 10% deposit, let's say if it's a $500,000 property, 20% would be um, 100000 Would I have enough money and liquidity to sustain my family um, in the next year or so? And number four, I would also be looking at um, – the most important thing is how long am I planning to be in this property? If it's going to be one or two years, 
then obviously I don't think it's a good move. But if I want to stay in my home for the next 10 years or 20 years and I see myself um, being very comfortable here, I would take advantage of the mortgage rates and and if I have the job security. And I would move forward because um, going through historically um, real estate, yes, it is illiquid, but it was it's a tangible asset. It doesn't fluctuate the way that the S&P fluctuates or uh, stocks fluctuates, you know, 20% down, 30% down. If you're physically living in it and enjoying it, stay. Absolutely. That is a great point. Before we close the segment, Victoria, what else would you like people to know? I'd like people to know that, um, you know, we are here for you. We would love to talk to you if you have any questions or anything, because we are also going through this together. And I do think that um, there will be pent up demand coming forward because I was telling my husband, I was laughing around um, where we're staying. I said, well, the the new pitch is not, oh, do you like the kitchen? Do you like the bath? I would Mm -hmm. say to people, how do you feel about being quarantined here for two weeks? Do you like it? Is it nice enough? That is a good point. And let's tell people how they can. We're laughing, but we're crying. That's true. Let's tell them your website and phone number if they want to reach out to you, Victoria. Right. So my my phone number is 917-860-2782. That's my direct line. And my website is the victoriasteinerteam.com. And the phone number? And I work at Compass. Compass Real Estate? 917. Yes, yes. Compass Real Estate here in New York City. And the phone number again? Uh, 917-860-2782. Thank you so much for being available yes, on you, super yes, short notice. All right, thanks. Yes, yes, thank you. Have a great day. You too.